today let's look at a step-by-step -step tutorial to create the cat ghost shopping. First, we need to think about how many costumes the cat needs. When the game starts, the cat keeps walking. These are the two costumes from scratch. This will be costume 3 when the cat turns and shouts. Costume 4 and 5 for the cat to walk across the street. Costume 6 and 7 when the cat walks in the opposite direction. And here we can reuse costume 4 and 5. So altogether 7 costumes. Let's create these 7 costumes first. Go to costumes. We already have 1 and 2. Now duplicate costume 2, this will be our costume 3, and ungroup the head, then remove all the eyes, nose, mouth. The moustache, we need to bring it backwards. This is costume 3. Costume 4 and 5, we need to draw. So let's duplicate costume 3 and remove the body. If you choose the head, you can see that the outline is black color 2.4. Fill color is orange. So I'll choose my brush. First, I'll choose black color. Change the thickness to 2.4. I will draw the body for the cat. So make sure one leg is longer, the other leg is shorter because the cat is walking. And make sure you draw it as a closed shape so that we can use the paint. Choose orange color to color the whole body. Okay, one thing we also need to do is the tail, we must bring it forward. So choose select, choose tail, and bring forward. Now duplicate. Costume 4, let's remove the body. And we're going to draw the body again with the other leg longer. Paint the whole body orange. Bring the tail to the front. Okay, so this is 4 and 5. Costume 6 and 7 are mirror image of costume 1 and 2. So duplicate. Costume 6, I want to drag it down so it's nicely in order. Duplicate costume 2. Drag it down, become costume 7. Okay, so costume 6, we just need to click this flip horizontal. Similarly for costume 7, flip horizontal. So these are the 7 costumes for the cat. We need a second cat to be the shop owner. A shop owner is only visible later on, so let's make it invisible first. We also need to choose two different backdrops, one for the street, the other for the shop. So choose outdoor, choose this street. Another backdrop, choose indoor, choose room. Okay, now select the backdrop and come here, delete the blank backdrop. Now we have two nice backdrops. Now let's go back to the street view. You can see the cat is very big. We'll change its size to 50 and I want the cat to start from this location. So probably minus 200 and minus 150. Okay, so go to events. When green flag clicked, I'll start with costume 1. And I will start from this location, direction 90. Next, we need the cat to keep walking until it reach this location. So we will use a loop. Inside the loop, the cat will change to costume 2, move 5 steps, and wait for 0.1 second. Then it will change to costume 1. So these three lines, we can duplicate. But this time, choose costume 1. Put it back. Okay, let's try. Okay, so 10 times looks just nice. Now we need to use costume 3. Switch to costume 3. And I'm going to shout that there is a shop. Okay, after that, the cat will cross the road. So it needs to turn certain degrees to cross the road. Turn left. Okay, I've tested this. 35 looks just fine. Turn left 35 degrees. I'm going to cross the road. So crossing the road will be similar to this code. So duplicate. But instead of costume 1 and 2, this time I'm going to use costume 4 and 5. This is 10, so this should be probably 25. Let's try 25. You can see the body of the cat is also turned. We need to go to directions and we choose this do not rotate. So it doesn't rotate the body for the cat. Okay, let's try again. 25 is a bit too much. So let's change it to 23. Now the cat needs to turn and walk in the opposite direction. Okay, just now we turn 35 degrees. We need to turn another 145 degrees. Together it will be 180 degrees. So turn left, another 145 degrees. And I need to walk again. So we need to duplicate this code. And this time is very short, so probably I will try 15 times. Let's see. Oh, we forgot to change the costume. So the costume should be costume 6 and 7. Now it reached the entrance of the shop. It needs to turn and go into the shop. So I need to turn back the 145 degrees. This time I'll turn right 145 degrees. And we need to repeat the loop again. So duplicate the loop. But this time we'll probably only need to do 5 times. And when the cat goes to the shop, it's costume 4 and 5. Okay, looks 5 is too much. Let's change it to 
three. Okay, now the cat is in the shop. Uh, we need to tell the shop owner that the cat is here. So I'm going to broadcast shop. Now the backdrop, we need to change it to the shop. So I'll click backdrop. When I receive shop, I'll switch to room. Of course, when the green flag is clicked, I will use the other backdrop. Now, how about the shop owner? When green flag clicked, I'll use my costume one. Okay, they call it A and B. I'll just use A. Okay, we need the shop owner to be at certain location, so let's make it visible first. Okay, and we need to change the size to 50 as well, so the two cats are about the same size. I want it to face the other direction, so let's flip horizontal so it can talk to our cat. Okay, this position is good. Just keep it here. And remember, when the game starts, we need to hide the shop owner. But when I receive shop, I know someone is coming, I, right? I need to start talking. So I will show, first show myself, then I will say, Good morning. How can I help you? Then I need to tell the other cat that I have finished my talking. Broadcast. Asked. We can also change the name of the two cats. So the first cat, we will call it customer. The second cat, we will call it shop owner. So the customer, when it enters the shop, it should change a different costume. So we will go to switch to costume one. And when the shop owner finish asking questions, the customer needs to respond. So when I receive asked, I'm going to say, good morning, I want to buy a gift. Now let's try.